All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome in. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you hit that like button. If you're watching on replay, make sure you say replay down in the chat below. And we are shipping out only five orders today. eBay, I think, was going through some glitches yesterday. People were having issues with shipping, and my sales were like dead all day long. So I think they were doing some stuff in the background. So I had a feeling in the morning when the sales were like coming in super slow. I was like, you know what? It's probably because of what's going on. So only five orders, but that's fine with me because that means we can get some um, listing done. Katie's in the house. Amy's here. What's up, Amy? Trisha's here. Trisha says first, but there were so many people before you, Trisha. What happened? What happened? That's what Felix said. What happened? What's up, Casey? Casey's in the chat. Jags lost. Jags did lose, and they lost their quarterback, too. Ooh, it's going to be a rough season for the Jags. You guys, were, you guys were here. You guys were, like, all the way up here. You're like, if we win this game, we're number one in the AFC. And then you lost everything. <laughs> Including your quarterback. Ouch. Tough, tough day for a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. But Trisha's not a fan, so probably wasn't a tough day for her. I'll be, like, buried. Uh, you can start now. Gotcha. You can start now. Um, I sold my first pair of Spanx for 64 last night. Nice. I sold a pair of Spanx today. We're going to be shipping out on live. What's up, Regina? Um, <clears throat> but it's not a pair of leggings. What's up, Mongoose? Um, but those albino cats, baby. Albino cats. What are you talking about? Albino cats. What mascot is that? Am I, am I missing this? Completely missing this? Uh, what's up, Booty Barbara? Wayne's World's in the chat. What's up? Um, there we go. Offer declined. Uh, Pops cut off while I was in Goodwill. They made everyone leave. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, Bengals. Oh, Bengals. Got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah. Because they were wearing their white uniforms last night. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. I didn't watch any of the game. Me and me and Tokyo were playing Fortnite. If you guys play Fortnite, if anybody in chat plays Fortnite and you want to rock with uh, me, Tokyo, and I think we might have Ethan with us today. I have the, the two shoe guys and a, and a clothing guy. I need another clothing per person in the chat so I can, you know, we can give it to him. Yeah, I missed it. They had white and black uniforms. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and you can play. You can play. Dylan, Dylan hit me up. We'll, we'll, we'll play. Um, we need one more. Uh, I'll probably play tonight after I have a um, consignment unboxing live that I'm going to do as long as the box gets here in time. We're going to do a consignment unboxing over on Whatnot, and then after that, I'll probably I'll probably play after that. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Uh, five orders going out the door, three Poshmark, uh, no, two Poshmark, three eBay. Um, we'll start with Poshmark first. First item that sold is this Billy Reed sweater. Uh, Billy Reed actually sells really well, um, and I, I used to pass it up all the time. I picked this up in a bulk buy like two weeks ago for eight bucks, and it already sold for thirty-five. And when I looked up comps, they were like thirty-five to forty-five. So I was like, all right, I'll list it for forty-five, and I got an offer of thirty-five. So Billy Reed, um, especially sweaters, sell really well. Um, so I made a profit of twenty bucks on this. Got two going out today: Tokyo Olympic T-shirt and two Barney VHS tapes. Nice. Barney used to be my favorite. <clears throat> Billy, Billy, R E I D, R E I D. I wish I could show the the tags backwards, but R E I D. Billy Reed. What's up? Good morning from New York. What's up, everybody? Appreciate everybody hopping in, tap the screen, send those likes. I'd appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you sold yesterday. Let me know how your sales were yesterday. Mine were super slow. So again, I think eBay was. If you guys tried to ship out yesterday ebay was like completely down like for most of the day with shipping so i'm assuming that's why sales were slow because probably some other services were were down as well so it was a it was a rough day for the old ebay yesterday sold alan two alan flusser backs oh tell surf set hey about idprt printer uh, that you recommended i had a scale last sale last night it's not printing full label you have to go through the settings the, the settings, the, the, you should change your settings on eBay. Did you sell on eBay or did you sell on like another site? If you sold on eBay, you got to change your settings to four by six. Otherwise, it won't work. It's four by six. It, if you just leave it at the regular settings, it's going to print like it's printing on a sheet of paper. And that's why it's not printing correctly. Um, I sold two on Posh yesterday, but I'm only um, up to 24. Listen, that's really good. Two out of 24 is not bad at all. My stuff's not selling on eBay. Any suggestions? I have 500 items. Uh, Regina, make sure you're looking up the items that you have. Don't just list anything and everything. Make sure the items that you're listing have good sell-through rates. Look at, make sure you're looking up the exact item, seeing how many are listed versus how many are sold. 
most likely that's where your issue is. You're listing stuff that currently isn't selling, expecting it to sell just because you have it listed in your store. Um, I could list a million Walmart t-shirts in my store. That doesn't mean they're going to sell. They're probably just going to sit there because it's a brand that just doesn't move like Walmart brands. So um, the USPS priority mailboxes are they mailed to a specific price and are they mailed at a specific price and weight? It depends on what box you get. There's medium flat rate boxes. There's regular weight boxes. There's flat rate envelopes. There's all kinds of stuff. So um, depending on the box you get is the how you're going to ship it out. If it's a regular weight box, if there's no flat rate on the side of it, it's going to ship out based off weight and dimensions. So you have to put those into eBay when you ship. What's up, Audra? Bro, I remember when you were just getting started during COVID. Probably even appreciate you. Appreciate you, Bishop. Five eBay, uh, one Mercari, my first. Nice. Appreciate the uh, Heart Me, Donna. I sold two posh yesterday. Oh, I already read that one. Okay. I think I'm caught up over here. I sold my ugly Christmas sweater, Dallas Cowboy sweatshirt, and a uh, linen Ralph Lauren blazer. Let's go. I picked up a... I might have Kayla go grab it. <clears throat> I picked up a... In a bulk buy today... A Robert Graham, it's, it's a crazy Robert Graham piece. I'll grab it before we end the live. But I got it from my, my guy I do bulk buys from. Next Poshmark sale is this women's Spanx sport bra, sports bra. It's a camo sports bra. I don't know if you can see the camo pattern on there. Um, picked this up for $8.03. It sold for 25 doll hairs. So that means we made a profit of $11.97. Oh, God. Look who's here, everybody. Wait, she might pin her comment. She, she might pin her comment. If you give her like two two seconds, she, she's working on pinning it right now. <laughs> eBay is dead. I sold a lot on Poshmark. Yeah, yesterday eBay was dead for me too. Again, there were some issues yesterday with eBay. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming they were trying to fix some of those issues. So who pinned it? Dead. Trisha, no, not you. She has to pin it. She has to pin it. All right, I know this might look a little funky putting a super lightweight item in a priority mail package, but remember Poshmark gives you priority mail labels, so use any free um, post office boxes, including flat rate, to ship out your Poshmark orders. You can use any of the boxes, so I choose to use these Tyvek envelopes. I'm just helping her out, yeah. She's she's over on uh, Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's uh, auction. I wanted to buy something from Lorenzo, but I hate doing those random mystery pool things, because um, I never know what I'm gonna get. I, I did one before and I got really lucky, and I think I'm gonna end there with my luck. But yeah, I, I wish he would have just been selling stuff. So I would have bought some stuff from him. And I tried to go through the buy it now. I was going to like gift to the chat, but then he just had his mystery things in there. So uh, we did change it to four by six. No luck. Have emailed them support. Okay. Also reach out to, um, if you know, Chris at peak, Chris at peak has an IDPRT. I use a Dymo. The reason I have the IDPRT linked is because the Dymo 5XL is too expensive um so i put the idprt in there i would also go on youtube and just type in idprt um like um four by six troubleshoot or something like that type that into you actually let me do it right now watch uh, um let me go to youtube um let's just type in idprt um four by six Thermal label printer. IDPRT thermal label printer. Let me just do IDPRT troubleshoot. Troubleshooting thermal printer guide. Printing half the label. If that's if that's what it's doing, it's printing half the label. Just type in IDPRT troubleshooting guide on YouTube. It's the very first video. I'm sure if you watch that video, it'll it'll tell you exactly how to fix it. Um, there's also other tutorial videos right below that too. So whatever your issue is, I would just hop over to YouTube and just type it in, and you'll probably find a video going over it. Got me a roll and love it wireless too. Yeah, I, I use a I use a Dymo. My Dymo's been through thick and thin with me. Um, but unfortunately when they made the 5XL, they made it so you have to buy Dymo labels, which is stupid. Uh, you have to open the PDF, hover, edit, screenshot, drag what you want printed and hit print. For every label for the IDPRT? It's gotta be, Chris just presses the button and he, he prints it, so um, I'm sure it's a setting they have to do. Um, what size boxes do you find that you use most for ground advantage, trying to stock some? Um, Ground advantage, it depends on what you're shipping. If you're shipping clothing, it's like eight by six by four is like the, the simple box that I get. Um, do you think having a larger store encourages buyer confidence? Hmm. It could. I mean, if you have a lot of store and a, lot, a long track record, I mean, it could um, give good buyer confidence. 
I don't know. People who have like five items still make sales. So it just really depends on what you have, how quick you ship, how much your shipping is, all that good stuff. Um, next sale, uh, eBay sale, Polo Ralph Lauren. Remember, Polo Ralph Lauren doesn't sell. Don't pick it up. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren, I paid $4.34 for this. It sold for $31.49, free shipping. Remember, Polo Ralph Lauren doesn't sell. Don't pick it up. Um, Tay, what's up? Husky Mama, what's up? What's up? Um, promoting seems to be helping me. Thank you for teaching us that. Um, I didn't understand the percentage at first and uh, differences versus Poshmark. Yeah, I don't do any Poshmark promoting just because it's pay-per-click, pay which is kind of ridiculous. I'm also trying out something new on eBay that some of you probably don't even know even exists. But they have a new promotion tool that prom you can pay to promote, get more promotion on Google. So I started doing that. It's I pay $5 a day in promotions and it's pushing my items to Google more. So Ethan actually taught me about that. I'm not gonna tell how to do it yet because I don't know if it's working. I'm gonna wait to see if it's working, but um, yeah, there's a setting on eBay, you can actually do that. Um, you can also do another setting, which I'm trying out too, is your store, your, the, your ad, there's gonna be an ad for your store placed on eBay on different buyer pages. So if somebody's looking for a Ralph Lauren shirt, <clears throat> It'll have a little little icon down at the bottom when they scroll to the bottom, and it'll say um, "Visit Kway Shop Store," and it'll have like three images of items that I have in my store that relate to the item that they're looking at, and it'll be down at the bottom page. And I only pay if they click on that and go to my store. So um, I haven't checked the analytics for those yet, but once I do and if I see they start working, then I'll let you guys know. But until then, I'm not going to really mention it too much. You say that again, I missed it. Okay, so there's a so there's a spot where you can pay, two places you can pay extra for promotions on eBay. Right now, you can pay extra, put your ads on Google, um, more ads on Google, and there's also a spot where you can, it basically like has like a little image of your store. It'll say my store banner, my store name, and it'll have three little images of something that relates to the item they're currently looking at that's in my store. That will, if they click on that and they go to my store from that, I pay extra for that. But um, I haven't really, I don't have enough analytics for it yet. So I'm not gonna say go do it. So yeah, you can find out where it is. Heck, if someone need Ralph Lauren, come buy me out. If you need Ralph Lauren, come buy you out. I would buy you out, but my, I have a guy that sells me Ralph Lauren locally and I only pay six to $7 per Ralph Lauren shirt and he has some really good stuff. My Ralph Lauren long sleeves are selling, mine too. Mine too. I had five sales yesterday. Two were Ralph Lauren pieces. That tells you how well Ralph Lauren sells. For example, next Ralph Lauren sale is this one. I bought this one locally from my guy. So this is a Ralph Lauren Blair corduroy shirt. You can see the corduroy. You can see the Ralph Lauren logo. But these thicker corduroy shirts do really well. Um, I paid eight dollars for this. It sold for thirty-five plus shipping. Thirty-five plus shipping. I pay five for mine, but mine isn't selling. Sean, Sean, give me your store name. Give me, give me, your, give me your store name. Let's look it up. I have a hunch. I have a little hunch. All right, this is gonna go, we'll do it live right here in front of everybody. 15 ounces, 15 ounces. I think you DM'd it to me before. Me and Surfs were gonna do it on, on live, but I'll do it right now. All right, this is gonna ship. Buyer paid 815, I'm only paying, um, I'm only paying 622. Yeah, I'll do a store review, because I, 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 uh, I don't have much to ship, so I might as well extend this just a little bit, or try to extend it. Okay, Sean Root 24. I think you DM'd me too. This stuff is lagging, but I'm in good will. Okay. Well, you can rewatch this on Facebook or YouTube afterwards if you're not able to watch it. All right, I got one more order, but let's try to look up Sean's store. How do you look up a store? Why do they make this so hard on um on um eBay to look up a store? Find stores, there you go. What is it? Couldn't find anybody by that name. Hold on. I think you DM'd me it, right? John, do me a favor. 
go in your store. There should be a share button on the right hand side of your store. DM me that store link and then I can go right to your link because it's not coming up. When I type in your name, it doesn't come up. Like if you type in Kway Shop, even though my store name is Kway Shop, it won't come up because I started with Wayne's Electronics. Um, so you have to type in Wayne's Electronics to find my store. Um, talk about most of the things on eBay, clicking on the similar items at the bottom of the page. There you go. Cool. Well, hopefully I test it out. If it works, it works. Came up for me. It's going to come up on my phone, but for some reason it doesn't come up on my um, thing. To my TikTok profile. If you want to get it, Sean, what's your name on TikTok? Hold on. Sean Root24, same one. Okay. Well, here. We'll go, go through TikTok. Go through TikTok and find it. Should I get banned for this? Today while playing Warzone solos, I heard a mysterious. Okay. What's your name? Link tree. Open anyway. Hang on. I got to get to it. eBay store. There we go. I got it. Your, your eBay store, by the way, if you want somebody to look it up, it's the best, the best store ever. That's that's your name. You got to give to people, otherwise it won't come up um, on on the computer because that's your last uh, part of your name. It's called the best store ever. Um, all right, let me go through your stuff. Sharing the screen on Facebook and YouTube. So, whoops, and I just messed it up. Sharing the screen on Facebook and YouTube. So, if you guys want to watch over there, you can. I'll flip the screen here. We'll do a little store view. Flip the camera. Okay. 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 Give me a second. I'm just gonna scroll through here really quick and see what I see. See what I see. Oh Lord, one of the stripes. Titles are pretty good. Um, okay. I don't really like these when you're hanging them up on there on your shower rack. I know you're using what you you only what you got, but that people can see that's a shower rack. What I would do is I would pay the whatever it is per month and just get um, photo room and do a white background on those. I like these. It looks like maybe that was your older setup and this is your newer setup. Um, your titles are a little short. Let me see, sure, polar out form. You got good stuff. Let me see, hold on. You're missing, like on these, I would always suggest put the fabric tag photo in there because you don't have anything showing what the fabric is even though this is probably 100% cotton. You have a good title. Um, your price isn't bad. I mean, if I were listing this shirt, it would probably be somewhere around that price, like $22.99 plus ship. You do 30 day free returns. Um, you don't need the measurements down here in the description. Oh, hold on, they can't see this. Sorry. All right, here's this here's this thing. Um, and you have a fifteen percent off code. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let's do this. I look at a couple more of your listings. Lower, got a bunch of polo, Pepsi. These I never pick up anymore. Your Ralph Lauren is good. Your Ralph Lauren's priced appropriately. I would work on your photos a little bit. So if you ever see how Surfs takes his photos, he takes his photos really close on his item of just the logo and like the collar. That's what I would. That's what I would say for for your listings to try to separate yourself out from the crowd because this photo right here. It's just, if I was scrolling through eBay, yours would look like everybody else's. That's what I would say. Um, but your photos aren't bad. It looks like you're using the eBay background removal right there. Um, 
some are older listings. I keep changing stuff. No, you're good. You're good. I can tell some are older, some are newer, which is fine. Um, so I'll give you an example of what my Polo Ralph Warren looks like. And I'll show you what your Polo Ralph Warren looks like. Hold on. I would just work on your photos. So, so when you're selling something like Polo Ralph Lauren, you're in a super saturated market, but they sell frequently. They sell really, really well. Um, you just have to make sure you separate yourself out from the crowd. So I'll type in, hang on, it's gonna, it's gonna take a second. Let's just type in Ralph Lauren and let's find some Ralph Lauren shirts that I have listed. Let's just pick one. Let's just do this one right here. I think we just listed this one yesterday. <clears throat> and if it would load eBay's going super duper slow right now there we go that's my photo for my Ralph Lauren shirt see your photo my photo your photo so when I'm scrolling through when I'm scrolling through eBay and I'm looking for a basic Ralph Lauren shirt this is obviously a sweater but just off the aesthetic, which one would you pick? That one. Because this one just looks better. It looks like a nice professional photo, whereas this, it does have a background, but it looks like it was just laid out. And all you have to do to get that photo is to take your cuff and fold it over and then take your, take your photo at this angle right there and make sure this is all flat up here and you'll get a better you'll get a better audience. Again, it's a super saturated market, but they sell frequently. Um, and then we have the full front, full back. And then this one, we just took one tag photo because it says cotton right here. So we don't need to put any other photos because it says what it is, cotton, and then it has the size tag. So this is just four photos on this one. So I would work on the photos. You have good stuff and your prices are accurate. Like this, this price is a priced appropriately. I sell these all the time for like 20 to 22 plus ship. Um, but it's just the photo. If you change the photo, you're good. Even your title's good, your description's good. You have a you have a coupon code running right now. You put all the measurements in your listing. Like everything else is perfect except I'd say just your photos. And your photos are in square mode too, so you're you're doing really good. Um, but the photos is where the photos. The only thing you lack on is your photos. I bet you anything if you fix your photos. And you don't have to go through and fix all your photos right now. Your stuff will still sell over time. But from here on out, try to do what Surfs does. Watch how Surfs takes his photos. I think he has a video on YouTube on how he does it. I'm sure you've watched it. Um, and he lays it on the ground like my wood floor. He lays it on a wood floor in a well-lit room, and he takes his photos up close. Um, any tips on tag lay down material? Any tips on the tag to lay down for materials? use this thing right here. I know people are like, don't put your fingers in the photo. Nobody cares. Um, you could use a pen if you want to. You can take a pen and lay it down. So if you don't want to show your fingers because you didn't do your nails today, um, you can use a pen or some people use a coin. So they take like a quarter and they lay a quarter on it and it holds down the tag. But yeah, uh, Amy uses scissors. I use my finger. Um, I, I I like this finger the best. No, I'm just kidding. You use whatever finger you want. Your middle finger, just you're probably not your middle finger. Because if somebody sees that that was your middle finger, they might not buy from you. But uh, all the other ones, just put it down. <laughs> so I, I, I mean, people are like, ew, your finger. Like it's a pre-owned piece of clothing. It was sitting on somebody's body. Who cares? Um, can you, I'm not going to do, I'm, I might do another store review tomorrow. I'm not going to do a ton of store reviews right now. Um, I just wanted to do his. Because I, I mean, I thought I, actually your store was going to be worse. And it actually was really, really good. You just need to change your photos. That's like the only tweak you need to do. Your your titles are great. You're putting in all the measurements. Your descriptions are great. Your pricing is great. You're doing 30 day free returns. You're doing every single thing that I would tell you to do except your photos. So Sean, if you just adjust those, I guarantee you start getting more sales. I guarantee it. I use double-sided uh, tapes the obnoxious, uh, on the obnoxious ties. Yes, I've heard people do that too. Like they take, they cut like a, if you have like a thicker piece of um, double-sided tape, you just cut it in half and then roll it up and you stick it behind the tag and then it'll actually hold it down. And then you just keep it off to the side. So you just have like a roll of double-sided tape sitting around. Um, yeah, that's, that's a brilliant idea. You could just stick it on the back and keep it down. I've heard of other people doing that too. That's really nice you do that. I don't charge for, I don't charge for store reviews. Store, 
Store reviews, the people I charge for them, they're great, they're cool. Um, it takes me like five minutes to do what I just did. Why would I charge somebody $20 for five minutes of work? And if I would have done a store review for him, I would have felt bad because literally he's doing everything correctly except for one thing. So my my $20 advice would just be change one thing. I could said that I could have said that in two minutes and, and been done with it. And if I wasn't on live, I probably would have got that done quicker. So do you think, uh, what do you think about AI descriptions? Um, I don't use them. So I, I don't have an opinion. I've never used one before. If you're going through really quick and you just want to write a quick description, if you're like selling like, let's say like a, a mug or something and you, you don't want to press the description button, you just press a button, does it for you, cool. Uh, but I have I have templates. So does, um, does Polo by Ralph Lauren sell good? Yes, that's one of my um, fastest selling lines. Please review mine. I'm not doing any more store reviews. Um, if I do like two more, I get asked for like to do two more after that. Um, I'll just keep it to one. Whenever I'm feeling like, you know, in the mood, I'll I'll do I'll do another one. But uh, um, I just want to do Sean's. He's been asking to have his done for a while, and I told him, I told him that I was going to do his the other day. We were actually going to do it with uh, um, Surfs, and Surfs probably would have the same exact advice. I might actually bring his store up and have Surfs Surfs look at it and see what his advice is without him knowing. So, um, do you take pixel measurements? I don't. I put the measurements in the description. What's up, Joel? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Feeling excellent. Me and Tokyo were playing Fortnite last night. We got a couple dubs. Got a couple wins under our belts. My first win on this new season. Um, I haven't played Fortnite in like a year and I was actually doing pretty good. So let's go. Um, I'm at one of the Goodwill Surfs goes to. I'm trying to get stuff before it gets here. Good. Take it all. Take every every piece of it. Especially all those new attack Polar Ralph Lauren pieces. If your buy cost of the item is five dollars, what's the lowest net profit you would consider? I normally try to make a ten dollar profit on something that I'm going to pay five dollars for. If you use AI descriptions, you got to read it to make sure it matches. Yeah. Um, again, yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. I never played Fortnite. I I played like way back in the day. I haven't I haven't actually played a video game on my Xbox in probably well over a year. Last one was Fortnite. I played with my kids for like 10, 15 minutes and I destroyed my daughter and she started crying and then I gave up and I didn't play anymore. Um, do you recommend 30 day returns on everything that's listed? I do 30 day, 30 day free and 30 day buyer pays shipping on, it depends on the item. Pants and jackets, buyer pays return shipping. Shirts and like lightweight items, it's free shipping, free returns. How much tax am I gonna pay on a $10, $10 profit? That depends on how far you drove for the item. There's a lot that goes into taxes. I'll just say that. I'm not a tax advisor. Um, talk to your financial advisor. They'll be able to help you with that. Um, because there's a lot that goes into that $10 profit. It's not just a $10 profit. Because you drove there, you used supplies on that $10 profit. If you did it in a specific room in your house, it's dedicated to... There's a lot of write-offs. Let's just say that. There's a ton of write-offs. Next up. L.L. Bean. This is the last item we're shipping out. This is an L.L. Bean jacket. I picked this up end of the year or beginning of the year this year. Like um, March is when I picked this up. So it sat for the entire summer because these weren't selling. But now this finally sold um, for $34. I only paid $534 for it. Sorry, I'm not sure you answered. Have you done um, Have you done a tutor? Uh, tu a tutored of List Perfectly? Have you done a tutored of List Perfectly? Like a... Um, Tutorial. Tutorial video, you're asking? Yeah, I have a couple lives where I've done uh, List Perfectly. If you go to my YouTube channel and just type in List Perfectly, it bring up a live video where I was doing some cross-listing with List Perfectly. So you can watch me cross-list live. Tutorial, yeah. So just go to YouTube and um, on my YouTube page, if you just type in List Perfectly, you should be able to find that video. Um, this jacket, I'm not going to put in the bag. It is... Um, a soft shell jacket and it fits in this box perfectly and it's not going to move around at all so you don't have to worry about it getting damaged because um, it literally it's packed in there and then I'm just reusing a Walmart box. Um, do you have a resale tax person in Tampa? I use um, Carol Ann. Carol Ann's not in the Tampa area but she lives really close to me and she also has an account here on TikTok. That's my tax lady. She does all my taxes for me. She helps it out, helps me out, get all the deductions, all that stuff. She's really, really good. And she knows what she's doing. That's why I always shout her out. On the spreadsheet, when you put your cost of goods, do you add a tax you paid? Yes. 
The cost of the item is the cost of the item, including the taxes you paid. Any financial advisor would tell you that. You don't just, you're, so people have these things called tax, you know, you don't pay tax on the items you paid. You're gonna pay tax on the profit you made on that item. Either way, it comes out pretty close. So when I go, I don't have a tax um, business tax write-off certificate or whatever. So if I pay $10 for an item I paid, and I pay seven cents tax here in Florida where I am, I paid 1070 for the item. I put that into my cost of goods. Always do that. It is a cost. It is your cost. Also, Carol Ann has taught me that, like, let's say you put that all on a credit card, right? And your credit card um, gets interest. You didn't pay it off that month and you got charged, let's say, $50 in interest for that month. That $50 interest is also deductible on your taxes. But I pay off my credit cards immediately, so I never have that issue. But yeah, that's all That's all a deduction. And Carol Ann will tell you guys that. She's told it on my live before. Do you offer, but I offer free shipping on everything? Uh, I used to offer free shipping on everything. I don't anymore. 10 by 12 by eight. Hang on a second, let me put this in really quick. Where's this going by the way, Connecticut? Um, I charge shipping on everything. It doesn't matter either way. Put it into your spreadsheet. It'll, it'll all come out the same way. Appreciate it, no problem. I don't think I missed anybody. What's up, Tina? Um, I have over 700 listings and my sales are slow and I offer free shipping on everything. I, ch I recently changed my shipping over from free shipping to charge shipping and I'm actually making more sales. Shout out to the guy that just entered the chat. That's probably going to mention something about the Colts, um, unfortunately, um, but that guy taught me. Oh, he said he called me cute this time. He didn't say anything about the Colts. The other C word, the one I, the one I like, the one I like. Um, yeah, he taught me about that. I, I was a big proponent on free shipping and I changed over to charge shipping. Um, I started doing it with a couple listings and then those listings sold super fast. And I was like, what the heck? People are paying more money for items plus shipping. And I recently just changed everything over to plus shipping. So if like this item had free shipping on it, that's because it was an older listing. All my newer listings are charge shipping. By the way, this is shipping out for $10.61. It is going ground advantage, 1061. Uh, sorry, so, so stupid. Uh, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. Oh, me and Surfs are doing a live together this week. He, he's he's done he's done abandoning you guys, okay? So we're gonna do a live this week um, on Thursday. It's gonna be at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Me and Surfs are gonna be answering all your reselling questions, hanging out, and uh, that'll be on YouTube or Facebook. And you can watch my live. You can wa you can watch it on my YouTube or Facebook or his YouTube or Facebook. Doesn't matter which one you go to because we're live on both of them. So that'll be Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on the YouTubes or Facebook. I'm healthy now. He's not busy hanging out with uh, Bearded and, and Felix. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a live. Um, that's why Surf's Up Method is not the K-Way Method. Yes, Surf's Up Method, 100%. I stole all of his ideas. <clears throat> Surfs is going live today, by the way. Surfs is going to be live over on uh, TikTok. Um, he's doing some live thrifting today. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you might want to hop over to TikTok, follow Surfs Up Finds. He'll be doing his doing his runs today. So he's going from store to store. He does lives in that, those stores for about 30 minutes while he's thrifting. And then he hops to the next store. As long as he has service, he goes live. Um, what's this North Face hat about? This is from Joel at Pretty Good Resells. I bought this hat from him. Am I frozen? I'm not frozen, am I? I don't think I'm frozen. He says I'm good. No, see, I'm not frozen. Um, do you use a calculated shipping? Yes, I use calculated shipping. Typically on most shirts, I put in 10 ounce rates. I don't weigh every single shirt when I'm listing them. I If it's a heavier shirt, like that Blake um, Ralph Lauren corduroy shirt, that was like closer to a pound, I put 15 ounces for that one. Everything else I normally keep at 10 ounces. If it's a little bit more, I'll pay the extra, but the, the buyer pays the extra because they're paying the retail rates and I'm paying the commercial rates because I use eBay shipping. So yeah, I always put it in pretty much the same. Lighter shirts are always 10 ounces. Uh, one of my coworkers saw my TikTok and I haven't made one since. Need to get back at it. 
your coworker, who do you care? Why do you care what your coworkers think? I never cared what my coworkers think. You know, you know how many people at the post office still watch my videos to this day? You know how many people would like walk up to me and be like, hey, I saw your video you posted on TikTok the other day. <laughs> like, okay, cool. I don't care. Appreciate you. Make sure you like. Uh, do you put packages dimensions when you're listing? Um, for most of my shirts, I just do 11 by 9 by 2 because that's pretty much what they end up being when I ship them out. If you guys don't know this, when it comes to ground advantage, it really doesn't matter on your dimensions unless you get like super big dimensions. So most of the time it doesn't matter. You can just put in your dimensions, uh, whatever you want, they'll still accept it because ground advantage is like first class. They don't really base off dimensions. It's more based off the weight unless it's a huge dimension. And then that's when they start applying that to it. Um, do you bother much with all the tedious drop downs? No, I don't do any of those. Um, I literally just do the recommended and maybe we'll fill out a couple more as we're scrolling down that are selected. So for example, if it's, you know, sleeve length, let's say it's sleeve length and you're scrolling down and it has long sleeve as an option just to press, I'll put that in. But if it has me do the drop down and put that in, I won't do that. Um, ground advantage or priority. Um, I've not used ground advantage before. Ground advantage in most cases is gonna be cheaper for you, Caleb. Um, like I just shipped out that jacket in a ground advantage, but remember when you use ground advantage, you can't use priority mail boxes. So I had to use a Walmart box that we, that Kayla bought something recently and we kept the box. You have to use your own boxes for those or your own packaging for those. You can't use post office packaging. Um, but in most cases they're going to be cheaper for ground advantage. It's just like first class basically. Have you had somebody try to return saying a hat that they got was one size? Wait, have you ever had someone try to do a return saying a hat that got that is one size says it doesn't? Um, I've got plenty of returns. I just take returns. I'll just leave it at that. I don't. I don't know where the question was going, but I just leave. I just take returns. Somebody wants to return an item for fit issues. I'll just let them take it. Yeah. I know a lot of people get all beat up about returns. They're like, oh my gosh, this person's scamming me. I swear I put the measurements in the listing. Who cares? Just take the return. If it sells once, it'll sell twice. Say the hat doesn't fit when it's one size. Um, maybe they have a giant head and they have to return it. Just take it back. If it sells once, it'll sell twice. Um, if you get too many returns, um, check, make sure you're doing everything appropriately. If it's a one size hat, obviously you can't measure a one size hat. It's, it's one size, but um, just take the return. People, uh, yeah, just take the return. The thing is the dude saying it's fake. Well, you're saying you're saying that he first he was saying it's one size. Now you're saying he's saying it's fake. Just take the return. If you know it's real, just take the return. You, you instead of going back and forth and most likely it's probably like a $20 hat max. You're you're arguing over 20 bucks. Just take the return. Um, and then relist it. Make sure you look at make sure it's authentic when you get it back. If it's ever, everything's good and um, relist it, it'll sell twice. Sells once, it'll sell again. Had a person say they didn't get their package on my end. It says delivered post office issue. Yes, have them contact the post office. eBay will back back you 110%. All platforms will back you 110%. As long as the post office says it was delivered appropriately, that means it was delivered and somebody at the house maybe picked it up and put it in the wrong room or somebody stole it. If that's the case, they got to contact the police department. They, it's not on you to make sure the package gets into the customer's hand that's on the post office. So they can file a claim with the post office, but you will end up getting your money as long as the package was delivered appropriately. I don't put thank you cards miscellaneous, miscellaneous picker. Um, I know some people do. Chris at Peak is somebody who does it um, and I understand why he does it because Kayla loves his thank you cards when um, she gets them from his shows, but um, I just, uh, I don't I don't take the time to do it. Um, maybe in the future I will, I'll get one of those like pre-printed cards that say like, hey, thank you for supporting my small business, follow me on all socials, stuff, stuff like that, but, um, or maybe like a discount coupon or something like that, but for right now I don't do it. Um, can you cover priority belt boxes with poly mailers? What happens if they find out? You're not really supposed to do that, Angel. I know a lot, a lot of people do that. I'll tell you this, if the box is if you're using a priority mailbox and the dimensions are exactly the same and you just put a poly mailer over it and it's like suction to the box, trust me, the post office will find out that you're using a post office box because all those boxes are the same size. Um, so when they see the same size box next to a priority mailbox coming down the line and they're like, wait, this is the same box. 
peek in there really quick and see a prior to mailbox and then they'll charge you prior to shipping. And they'll say, oh, it opened in transit and we noticed that you were using a prior to mailbox. It opened in transit. Um, yeah. I'm listing something from my home and no longer have the receipt. Talk to your tax advisor, talk to your financial advisor. Um, I've heard that if you know what you paid for it or have a rough estimate of what you paid for, as long as it's not like a super overestimate, you can put that into your spreadsheet as your costs. Like if you paid $100 for a pair of shoes or the shoes cost like $100 and you're like, I think I paid $100 for those, that's fine. But if you're like, the shoes cost $100, but I'm gonna put a $500 cost to good so it shows like me taking a huge loss, then that's not good. So, but talk to your financial advisor, they'll be able to help you with that. Um, if something's vintage made in Marina, something's vintage made in, I, I have no clue, I'd have to see the brand. Um, how did your wife work out nerves on lives? Hey, Kayla, I have a question. Yeah. You have to come here. What? Come here. Just over there working. Do you recommend offering a discount on eBay on all your listings? I don't do discounts. I just price appropriately. I do best offer. Divorce cell girl wants to know, how did you work out your nerves on lives? Wait, 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 wait. Watch out, watch out. She's Are you talking? Back. Are you talking back? She's answering a question. Oh, you're talking back to mommy? Yeah. You big fucking dog. That's her telling her that she wants pets. The, the ar -ar -ar -ar. She's just she talks back like the telling her that she wants pets. See, I'll try. How did you work out your nerves on lives? I still get nervous going live. You do? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's not as bad, right? No, no, it's not as bad. I get nervous because I'm still learning, so I can't answer all the questions, so then I sound dumb. But then I just also stopped caring. Yeah. Like, I, I think you just you just have I to do go my live. best, and then the chat helps out, and then that's it. You just have to go live. You have to like not care what people are gonna think about you, because at the end of the day, if somebody yeah. makes a if somebody makes a joke or somebody somebody says you're stupid or something, by the next day they're gonna be saying you're the greatest. Like that's how people are. So you just gotta like ignore it. You just uh, don't think about it before you hit the live button because you'll freak out. Just push the button. Yeah, just push the push button. Push the button. Don't don't sit there any longer than you have to. Just also be doing something in the background. Like don't be just sitting here like we are right like right now because this makes it hard, especially when you only have like 10 people in the chat and you're like, all right guys, anybody will have any more questions? All right guys, any more questions? Like do something in the background, like be working at the same time so you don't have to focus so much. What is your issue? Wait, there she is right there. Stop. What? Why is she all over you today? I don't know. Is it her? The baby was just being extra this morning all over me. That's just... Okay. <laughs> she talks back. <laughs> Do you hear this sass that I'm getting right now? <laughs> what? Ay, ay, ay. I also watch watched... Wait, I watched... Um, What's his name? Oh, my God. Gary Vee made a video because somebody asked him... Um, like saying that they're nervous to go live and he was like just freaking do it who cares what other people think who cares just do it i'm sorry i don't know what her problem is do you have to go out come here do you have to go potty i don't know what the hell that's wrong with that dog right now please she wanted to go out hey what do you want come here you're gonna go outside or you're gonna stay inside She's like, you. She's like, you gotta come with me, Mom. I want you to come with me. Uh, do you, did you feed the dog? No. We, we feed the dog in the morning and at night. She's not hungry. She just wants attention. Do you want a treat or something? She just wants attention. That's it. Give her a treat. Yeah, I think that's what she's doing right now. She's trying to tell y'all something. I, she's trying to tell us that she wants us to pet her. That's ex She does it to mom too. Mom will be on the couch. Like yesterday, she was on the couch like uh, listening to some things. And she was all over her yesterday. So that's what she does. She knows that she's going to get pet. There's no kids at home. So now she has the whole, she has everybody to herself. So now she's got to let everybody know like, hey, the kids are home. So this is the time you got to pay attention to me. So by the way, that's the same dog. That's the same exact dog that you guys heard like deathling at the uh, UPS man that dropped the, the package off at the front door. She goes from one extreme to the other. <laughs> one extreme to the other. Uh, she's crazy. Right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and head off. Um, I appreciate hanging out. I appreciate all the questions. Um, if I don't have that many orders tomorrow too, we'll just do some um, 
Hopefully I get more orders than we had today. But um, if not, we'll do another store review. We'll hang out. I like doing store reviews every once in a while. I don't like doing them pre-planned. I like to be just like, all right, let's just do a store review right now. Um, that way I don't get bombarded with them too, you know, because if I say I'm going to do them every Wednesday, then everybody like store review, store review, store review. But um, we'll do it again sometime soon. Maybe tomorrow we'll do another store review. So um, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I have a consignment box on the way. It should be here today. If it comes in today, I'll be live on whatnot tonight doing a consignment unboxing if you don't know how those go the those lives you guys get first dib on those items it's the same items we run on our regular shows um, but we price them like appropriately we price them at the regular price if you guys don't want to buy them you don't have to but um, if you see something you like buy it then because most likely it's going to shoot up in price on one of our auctions so it's like first dibs and then you can see everything that's coming for our upcoming shows so watch those shows you don't have to buy anything but you get to see like what's coming up um and yeah I'm going to work on loading a one show today. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next few hours. And I should have a video coming out today, a um, short form piece of content on thrifting. Some items that I recently picked up that already sold um, video. Cause I get a lot of people that say like, Hey, does this stuff actually sell? So I have a video coming out showing the stuff actually selling. So I appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.